it's because it's on the selfie stick it's day and it's on charge um it's day four of, of vlogmas so i'm gonna find my four window on my calendar hey guys so i opened my advent calendar i got a milky way and um we'll see you later see what we get up to got college but we're on the farm so hopefully i can get some clips so see you later bye yeah. mango ah. it's so fluffy so back from town and we bought a few christmas presents for a few people um i got not really much but um I got some food and some lunch because I got to leave for college like in like half an hour. So I bought a sandwich because I knew it would be like we wouldn't get back in time in time. Then I bought these lights uh, which are going to be for the mini Christmas tree. They're like wire ones and I think they're battery as well. Yeah. Oh, it includes batteries. Ooh, cool. <laughs> We bought batteries anyway, but I don't know they're the right ones, so yeah. Okay, well, I'll see you in a minute once I've got this open. done. Ah! Yeah, I don't know if I, if I actually like it, but... It could be like that for a bit. Can't really see it, so... Looks cool. Um, I don't know, I might move it around my desk or whatever, I don't know. I'll decide or put it on my TV or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Guys, what do you think? Where should I put it? It's not that long. It literally goes up, across, and then down. So, where do you think I should put it? salmon as people are eating so there are actually three of us eating but they come in packs of two so we've got four pieces of salmon P.S. I love the extra one I love it too much no we cut it into three then you need brown sugar light or dark doesn't matter then you need honey doesn't matter what kind just honey runny honey though then you need soy sauce light or dark we've got some dark as well because this may not be enough uh, and literally the measurements are depending on the fish, the amount of fish you have. And then some Chinese five spice. So let's get into the Okay, video. so I'm just going to go and add a good amount of soy sauce. Basically, the whole mixture has to cover the fish. Oh, you also need some spring onions. I haven't got them out yet. So look, that's the rest of the soy sauce bottle. So I'm going to start with this, because i got to add the honey and everything else, I've got to add some more liquids, so I'm going to see how much that is, and then I'll just add some more dark soy sauce okay, if I need to. Then you to. want to add a teaspoon, or half a teaspoon. This is a tablespoon, though, because I'm going to need it for another measurement. So I'm adding, like, a quarter of this. So half a te uh, teaspoon of Chinese five spice. And this is for actually for two, I think, so not coming out you know it's all just gonna come out yeah okay and then you want to just squeeze a large amount of honey in mix it smells amazing again this isn't enough but yeah so now I'm going to get some brown sugar I'm 
butter, heat tablespoon of brown sugar. Tablespoon, not dessert spoon. Dessert spoon's bigger. To be honest, I eat dessert with smaller spoons, but anyway. <laughs> Guys, I wish you could smell this. It smells amazing. Yeah, so, next. I'm going to just uh, make it the right amount of sauce for the salmon. And uh, so I've actually made it up to the right level now. Uh, all we need to do is get our salmon and our spring onions ready. Guys, Let's I've go. got a nice sharp knife. Not too sharp though. I'm just going to take this off. So this is just two of my salmon fillets. Um, they're in date. Always check that they're in date. Seriously. <laughs> you do not want to get food poisoning from fish. I don't think I've ever had food poisoning from fish, but I think my mum has. Yeah, she has actually. She had it from prawns in a sandwich. A prawn sandwich. Yeah, that packet just did not want to open. It's okay now. So you only need to open it so you can get the fillets out. They're quite wide fillets, these are, actually. Uh, okay. See you once I've opened guys, so actually if you weren't cooking the spring onions you would have to um do them first but I'm actually cooking the spring onions and I don't want to touch yeah anyway so I'm doing these first so this is a bone so I'm just gonna like go along it just to make sure I can't feel any bones there's a line where there could be bones I'm just trying to feel for bones I'll do it once they're cooked as well because it's easier here here's a bone i can feel it Ugh. feel it can't get it out there we go lovely little bit of fish bone don't know it might have broken so there could still be one in there i do not know There's unlikely to be bones at the end of the fish, like in the bottom bit, but still check just in case. Yeah. Okay, well I found two bones, so see you in a minute. I did decide to rinse the chopping board before I did the spring onions. And so I've got my salmon in here, um, body down, skin up, or scales up, and I've just submerged it made sure it's all covered in the sauce and leave that to marinate but I will put that in the fridge once I've got these spring onions in it so I'm just going to pull the outer layer off of the spring onion just the outer layer and then I'm going to chop the very tip off because it's kind of got the roots so the very tip comes off and then up to about here so we're just going to go like this just loads of little wow it's making holes in the chopping bowl because this knife is so sharp I washed the knife as well but this is the knife that I use for the fish still rinsed it but again they're going to be cooked so it should be okay because I'm pretty sure this is my dad does it anyway I didn't actually look up the recipe kind of just you just guess to be honest with that and see that one was so small I barely got any spring onion she got a tiny bit it looks like a lot actually doesn't it but it's not on the screen it looks like a lot uh yeah just gonna peel peel spring onion peel peel spring onion <sighs> chop off the end of the spring onion chop off the end of the spring onion Wait. 
<laughs> sounds so weird. Oops. Oh well. <laughs> Spring onion just went for a bit of a fly. Anyway, I'll see you once I try. I've got my salmon again. It's just here. I'm just going to add the spring onions in. Just sprinkle them over the top. There we go. And then I'm just going to mix it about a bit as well to get the spring onions underneath. Mix the fish about so they can get spring onions under them. Just give it a good mix. And the sauce tasted amazing before I put in the fish. I had a little taste. Tastes good. It's kind of strong, but hopefully it will die down when it's cooked. So, sorry, Mum and Dad, if I ruined the fish, but I didn't use a recipe because I couldn't be bothered to Google one. Anyway, bye. So I just put that into marinade. Um, it's nearly six, and my mum's going to be back at six thirty, so it's about it has about forty five minutes to marinade. So yeah, and then we're going to fry it up. Do some rice. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to call my mum at six to see if she's finished and on her way home. And then I'll probably put the rice on. So I'll see you then. Bye. Yum. Teriyaki family. We add the rest of the sauce in once the fish have been flipped over.